Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk about Suncorp. Uh, I really wanted to just touch on the, the high points. We've got a couple of dozen slides, but I'll actually just present one, uh, cover the high points, and leave plenty of time for questions. Uh, well, the, uh, my transition period, the, the last 100 days, uh, has uh, really, the finalisation of that period has really signalled uh, the opportunity now to say that the, the, uh, the organisation has very, very strong foundations. Uh, for the way forward and uh, plenty of growth opportunities. So uh, we're actually in really good shape uh, for the times ahead. Uh, the result itself, $530 million uh, of after-tax profit, uh, a 30 cent dividend uh, and uh, uh, a very strong result from the bank and from the life company. Uh, I think whilst we're very pleased with the result and we left the, uh, the business with uh, just over $500 million of excess capital, uh, there's no doubt that we can do better. We can do better than the $530 million. Uh, and as we look forward uh, to uh, the second half of the year, uh, we're, we're certainly taking action to deliver a better result. Uh, there were a number of uh, significant headwinds. Uh, firstly, the, the, the items uh, external to the company. Uh, the first one was the investment markets. And if you look at the returns on the portfolio uh, for this period compared to the, the uh, prior comparative period, uh, the number was about two. $215 million lower return uh, from the portfolio in this six months. Uh, so that is quite a significant change. Natural hazards, so uh, we continue, uh, rather than have a, a single large event, which would be fairly typical this time of year around December, uh, we, what we saw is a number of small events. So rather than a, a single event that may have cost us $250 million, which gets us into the zone of uh, the reinsurance being effective, uh, we essentially have 10 uh, events for $25 million, so the benefits of reinsurance uh, don't actually uh, uh, kick in. Uh, the uh, the last thing was um, the releases that we have uh, within the organisation from uh, the, the provisions uh, that was slightly lower this year. And the very last thing uh, that I want to mention was working claims, which I'll go into in a little bit more detail. Uh, as I said, the bank uh, delivered a result uh, which we were very happy with. It was about 10% up on the previous year. Uh, the life business, uh, excluding the impact of the investment markets, was up 11.5%. Uh, and what these results do is they reinforce the benefit of having a diversified financial services organisation as opposed to just a single monoline insurance business. Uh, in relation to the uh, working claims, uh, we identified a significant issue uh, around December last year, which we, we pre-reported to the market. Uh, the most important thing, the highest priority that we have at the moment is to rectify that situation. Uh, we, we initially thought uh, it was all driven by external factors. We saw uh, off the back of a very big year across the industry uh, where there was around $4 billion worth of uh, claims, natural hazard claims last year. And there was also an increase in the level of, uh, of construction activity across uh, Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, we saw some increases in prices from tradespeople uh, and uh, our assumption was that was just reflecting the higher level of demand and the shortage of supply of good contractors. As the year progressed, we realised we also had some uh, reasonably significant internal operating problems, uh, which we uh, are now addressing. The goal is to see a, a much lower uh, working claims cost uh, for the full year, uh, which will drive a higher underlying ITR result for the period. Um, the other thing we mentioned uh, last week was a refinement to our strategy. And uh, I've actually sat on the board now for three and a half, coming up to four years. So uh, I've endorsed the strategy of the group, the one company, many brands now, for a number of years. Very comfortable and uh, with the direction of the, the organisation. Uh, but we've taken the opportunity to refine that and point out two things. Uh, firstly, what we want to do is to invigorate more growth uh, and also drive more resilience to the volatility. Now, I mentioned investment markets, uh, I mentioned uh, the climate uh, and a number of other factors and what we find at the moment is, uh, you know, our results get uh, impacted directly by a lot of external factors that we have no control over uh, and by driving a higher level of uh, revenue and a lower level of costs, uh, we'll find that we'll be much more resilient to those uh, uh, items that actually cause 
of volatility. The two components of the refinement of the strategy is firstly to elevate the customer, uh, and we've done a great job over the years in focusing on cost uh, and uh, our, our culture uh, and capital, uh, but the, the last remaining C that we've got to uh, work through uh, is, the cap, uh, is the customer, uh, and we're now extending that program rather than within each individual business uh, to be a very uh, broad and deep program across the entire group and very happy to answer some questions on what that means. Uh, the second part is recalibrating the costs uh, and that's got also has a number of components. The first one being uh, really to reduce our level of discretionary spend uh, and to have a hard look at uh, the uh, corporate overheads within the business. And given that we have a cost base of $2.7 billion, uh, you can see there the potential to drive future earnings uh, by essentially being uh, tightening our belts in relation to expenditure uh, and also elevating the customer and delivering uh, more revenue. As far as commitments for the future, uh, we continue to walk, work towards and target a ROE of 10%. Uh, that implies uh, a underlying ITR of at least 12% uh, and we will remain committed uh, to delivering a dividend of between 60 to 80% of our cash earnings and to continue to return excess capital uh, to the shareholders uh, as we look at the business uh, in the future.